There is more fallout today from an incident aboard a Delta plane. We first brought you this story yesterday. Remember the video? Donald Trump, baby. That's right. This man knows what's up. We got some Hillary on here. Donald Trump, it's your presence. Every one of you. If you don't like it, too bad. Well, since we first brought you that video yesterday, Delta Airlines has now gone further than the statement that it originally, initially released, actually banning that passenger for life. The airline also is refunding the full price of the tickets for every passenger on that flight. The man who you saw was flying from Atlanta to Allentown, Pennsylvania. More than two million people have now viewed that video on Facebook. Now, initially, Delta issued a statement which read, in part, we're sorry to our customers who experienced this disruption. We followed up with the teams involved and all agree this customer should not have been allowed to continue on this flight. Our responsibility for ensuring all customers feel safe and comfortable with Delta includes requiring civil behavior from everyone. So... Are these moves that Delta is making the right ones for its image and for its business? We're joined now by branding analyst Laura Reese. Good to have you with us, Laura. So Good to be here. So if we take a step back here for a minute, yeah. one of the things we talked about yesterday was we had reached out to Delta and we said, what is your definition of civil behavior? Mm -hmm. And also, what is a safe and comfortable environment? They weren't elaborating at that point. But then after the show yesterday, this letter comes out from the CEO, and it was the CEO who went on to say the passenger had been banned for life. Does that seem like the right move to make as a company? It seems like a pretty extreme move for the CEO to come out and ban a passenger for life. Listen, the truth is they underreacted initially. They did. They allowed this guy to fly. They didn't ban him. They didn't throw him off. Uh, they should have done something at the moment. They should have tried to resolve, calm down, or at least throw him off that flight. So they underreacted in the situation to start, and then this blew up, mostly because this video came out, which got people absolutely outraged that this man was allowed to fly. Delta didn't do anything. And now they went ahead and overreacted. They're throwing money at people. And now the CEO is saying that he's banned for life, which I do think is an overreaction at this point. They don't want to be running around deciding who and who not to ban for life. And it's causing great controversy. I think that they don't need to get into at the moment. Part of the controversy, too, is the is the elephant in the room. Uh, literally, when we're talking about the political Politics. part of this. And this has been, you know, this is something we've been hearing more and more about. Delta yeah. did not say this had anything to do with the views expressed, but more the behavior. But for most companies, it's a fine line these days. Exactly. It's a very fine line. And I have no doubt that Delta was expressively, because of the behavior, wanting to ban him. But people will see it. You know, we are a 50-50 country. If you take by the last election, that 50 of the people... 50% wanted Donald, 50% uh, wanted Hillary. So people will view it in their own political uh, viewpoints. And that's that's not a good place for a company to be. And they want to avoid that. And listen, again, you have to take these situations at the R and take them where they are. A very similar situation happened on a United flight. And listen, the captain came on the radar and said, listen, everybody settle down. Stop with this rhetoric. Stop with this talk. And you know what? The, the passengers applauded. Um, and that handled very much a different way. Uh, you know, we did we did that story as well here, and I'm glad you brought it up because yeah, that was my that next one. question is, you know, who sort of handled it better, almost who wore it best in the situation? And, and you would say then it was a United pilot who got on and said, listen, get your acts together. Yes. If you want to bring this up, not on my flight. Not a, Yeah, you can get off my flight right away, as a matter of fact. There's another flight tomorrow. I'm not going to have this on my flight. And absolutely, the captain, the crew, they have to take leadership. One of the things in the ranting video is you never saw the, the flight attendants or anyone come on and you sort of, you know, deal with this guy. And again, part of the problem that wasn't taking, and, and what happens is over time, it sort of accelerates and, and people, uh, you know, the, the story builds and builds mm -hmm. if it isn't handled right in that moment. Um, you know, it, it's like dealing with a toddler. you got to settle the situation <laughs> before they just blow up in your face. Sometimes it feels like a lot of what we're dealing with <laughs> uh, fits, that, fits that mold uh, these days. But you're right, dealing with it in the moment, especially when everybody there has a phone for the most part and can put a video out immediately as well. We only see part of the story. Sometimes we need more context from the company. Laura, great to have you with us. Thanks for your, for your insight and for your perspective today. Absolutely. Thanks.